This is an analysis of the 2021 trial papers for the 2022 SPM exams. This is not a prediction and this is not Swalan Bocho. If you're looking for Swalan Bocho and Ramalan, you are in the wrong video. This is purely analysis to help you see which questions are being repeated. Let's get into it. Let's look at section A first. If you look at section A, you can see this color, the one in pink here. Standard representation of atom is very popular. You have to know how to get your proton number, how to get your nuclear number. So you can see it's been repeated in many states. Standard representation, standard representation. I've color coded everything for you. Standard representation. So you can see the topics that they are asking. Nuclear number, isotopes from the standard representation of the atom. And then writing the electron arrangement from the standard representation. These are all common questions regardless of the year. And so this one is something that you should look at. Don't forget about atomic structure. Atomic structure is not the same as electron arrangement. Atomic structure contains the number of protons and number of neutrons as well. I'll be doing a last minute revision video to cover as much of these topics as I can. I'll leave the link to that in the description below when it's done. And then the next one that is very common for section A is empirical formula and molecular formula. So this again is very common regardless of the year. You have to memorize the definition for empirical formula and molecular formula. And you need to know the calculations, how to find molecular formula and empirical formula using calculations. So again, empirical formula definition, chemical formula definition. And there are years where the experiment for empirical formula comes out. And you need to figure out the empirical formula based on the experiment. That is, the one either involving hydrogen gas or the one involving combustion with oxygen, metal with oxygen. So you need to be familiar with these. These are common questions. And this is all the common questions for section A. And then another recurring topic that is mixed between section A, B is ionic compounds. They seem to be focused on ionic compounds this year. Again, this is not a prediction. This is just to see what are the questions that are, that are being focused on in the trial papers. So we have ionic compound, ionic compound. In ionic compound in, in section A is pretty standard. Draw electron arrangement of ionic compound. You need to learn how to draw the arrangement, the electron arrangement of the ionic compound that is formed. Again, we have draw electron arrangement. And then you can see draw electron arrangement of ionic compound again. Now, not to say that they didn't ask covalent compound. They did ask covalent compound in two papers. But this focus seems to be more on ionic compound. And then we have ionic compound here. This one has come out in section B for these three states. So you can see ionic compound formation. This one would be the explanation as well. How is an ionic compound formed? Explain the transfer of electrons, receiving and donating electrons, how many electrons and all that. I'll go through that in my revision video. And then again, formation of compound, ionic compound. This one was magnesium oxide. And then drawing the electron arrangement. And then for this one was also ionic compound formation. So explanation of the formation of ionic compound. And then we have other mixed topics in section A, such as rate of reaction. Rate of reaction is a very large topic and it is quite common regardless of the year as well. So rate of reaction, when it comes out in section A, usually it's quite straightforward. There's usually calculation. You need to learn how to calculate from the graph as well as from a table from tabulated data and you need to know how to calculate the average rate of reaction classification of reactions into fast or slow and then we have here now rate of reaction a lot of times in this year they have tested monoprotic versus diprotic acids and how it affects the rate of reaction so you have to remember this of course affects the concentration of h plus ions Diprotic acids have doubled the concentration of H plus ions for the same concentration of acid as monoprotic acid. And then we have total surface area. Rate of reaction here, we have concentration collision theory. Rate of reaction collision theory is easily 3-4 marks. So please remember your collision theory for all the different factors affecting rate of reaction. And then once again, you can see here rate of reaction is linked to monoprotic and diprotic and calculations. Uh, I need to note that these two, the first two, are the same state. 
they are two variations of the same state. So you don't count that as two, you count that as one. And then rate of reaction, you can see here, is asked in section B. So this one we have surface area, collision theory as well. Then we have temperature and catalyst and sketching of graph. Whenever they ask in section B, there seems to be involvement of sketching of graph. There is usually an involvement of sketching of graph. So you need to understand how to sketch your graph of volume against time, volume of gas against time. This is usually, usually it is the product formation graph. That means it is an experiment between matter and acid and gas is formed or acid and calcium carbonate and a gas is formed. So formation of gas, formation of product. Don't forget they can also ask for reactant used up. They can ask mass of metal or mass of calcium carbonate used up. That would be a different graph. So learn how, remember how to sketch these graphs. So again, you can see rate of reaction repeating here in section A. This time is acid and calcium carbonate equation and calculation. And then you have it here. This one is in A as well. So this was concentration, sketch graph, collision theory. So you can see, you can see the pattern. And rate of reaction here. Now these two, these last two are the same states as well. So they count as one. So you can see rate of reaction. This one was size of particle in relation to collision theory. Sorry, this is supposed to be an S. Huh? Collision theory. Okay. So we have catalyst here, collision theory. And then again, rate of reaction linked to monoprotic acid and diprotic acid. So you need to know this. There was one question on energy level diagram. So this is rate of reaction. And then in section A, you can see the blue color, the, the bright blue color in every single state except for one. We have heat, thermochemistry. And most of it was heat of displacement. Most of it was heat of displacement. You can see there was one heat of combustion there was one heat of precipitation most are anticipating heat of displacement so please make sure you are on top of your calculations for heat of displacement and your definitions for heat of displacement and what happens when you replace the metal with another metal how does that affect the value for the heat of displacement and then we have okay so section a mostly that's it there are quite a few occurrences of Transfer of electrons over a distance as well. The U-tube experiment. Transfer of electrons over a distance. So again, we can see this occurring a few times. We can see it again uh, here. Transfer of electrons over a distance. Transfer of electrons over a distance. So this has been coupled with other redox questions as well. And redox is another topic that is recurring. So we will go through that later. Okay, and then if you look at section B, electrochemistry is definitely recurring this year. So you can see we have electrolysis and then we have chemical cell, electric, electrolytic cell, voltaic cell, chemical cell, voltaic cell. So you can see this keeps repeating. And for this one, we even have your section C, your procedure. The procedure was for electroplating of iron spoon. So you can see this is a repeating topic, recurring topic here. And then another one for section B. You can see we have strong acid and weak acid comparison repeating between A and B. So you can see the red color, all the red color. Strong acid versus weak acid. So remember how to explain why strong acids behave that way, why weak acids behave that way, depending on the concentration of H plus ion, which depends on whether it partially or completely ionizes. So again, basicity of acid, strong and weak acid, and then we have strong and weak combined with monoprotic and diprotic, this is popular as well, and then we have strong and weak alkali, this one was alkali, weak acid definition is here, and then here monoprotic and diprotic and pH value, Weak and strong acid, monoprotic and diprotic. So these are the themes, monoprotic and diprotic as well as strong acid and weak acid. These have been recurring throughout. And then when we go to section B, you can see we have quite a few experiments on displacement of metal. Now this includes the experiment on the effect of other metals on iron nails. So the effect of other metals on iron nails has come out here. Here you can see we have it repeating again here, rusting of iron 
and then we have effect of metal on rusting of iron nail so please go through this experiment this is the experiment where you wrap the iron nail with two different types of metal one is more electropositive one is less electropositive i'll go through that in the revision video and another one that keeps recurring is displacement of metal from its salt solution this is all under redox equilibrium displacement of metal from its salt solution you can see it's come out in a as well we have some in section a here mostly section b so this is important and then another one that keeps coming out is saponification so saponification has a mixture between a and b so here we can see action of soap now this too seems to be an interesting one how to distinguish between soap and detergent so please look into that it has come out again here remember the last two are the same state so yes it has come out in two states how to distinguish between soap and detergent in the lab using hard water soap and detergent and water right so please make sure you're familiar with that and and then we have one more that is uh, constantly recurring that is coagulation of latex coagulation of latex and vulcanized and unvulcanized rubber these are worth a lot of marks especially coagulation of latex coagulation of latex can go up to eight marks this is worth a lot of marks so it's worth looking into so coagulation of latex you can see we have it here and then we have it again here in section b vulcanization coagulation of latex so this um, is worth looking into it's worth a lot of marks if it comes out you will really benefit if it does come out and you're prepared for it for section c there seems to be one topic that is very common and that is esterification so again i have to stress that the first two are the same state variations of the same state so we have esterification here and then again we have esterification here again these last two are the same state so two states have predicted esterification but esterification is a topic that also keeps recurring so you can see we have esterification here they will ask esterification here you can see we have uh, normally they will ask combination with chemical properties of alcohol because alcohol can be oxidized to carboxylic acid and then carboxylic acid together with alcohol is what forms ester under esterification so esterification is another topic worth looking into all right so we have other common ones uh, you have neutralization neutralization calculation seems to be recurring as well again this is only one state but re neutralization calculation you can see keeps recurring now this one is something that you cannot run away from and that is qualitative analysis so this you really cannot run away from qualitative analysis you can see anion cation test and thermal decomposition at least these two you must be familiar with if you just go through my chemistry colors uh, videos revision videos they're just short videos chemistry colors explaining to you how to identify things from colors in chemistry i'll leave the link to that in the description it should be fine and so we have again you can see anion test and cation test can be slotted into many topics so you can't run away from that as well as the depth the again qualitative analysis and neutralization so you can see these are recurring topics right and one more last one will be alloy alloy if it comes out is a quite a standard question usually you'll be asked to draw there will be some question regarding the hardness of the alloy and why it is harder than pure metal so you have to explain using the sliding sliding of the atoms i'll leave the link to this document in the description below so you guys can download it and you can look at it and all the best preparing for your test don't forget to look out for my revision video last minute revision video it will come out very soon